Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Windows 11 in your low-end Android smartphone with using Limbo PC emulator. So without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In my previous video, I have shown how you can run the latest version of Windows, the Windows 11 in your Android using Limbo PC emulator. In that video, I have shown the Windows 11 uh, running in Android but uh, that windows required very high end device and lot of uh, hardware powerful hardware specifications of android phone so a lot of people comment uh, on my videos to show uh, a windows 11 for the low end smartphone so this is my low end smartphone and this android phone have 4 gb ram and that uh, android in that video i have used the uh, 6 gb uh, android phone so in this video I'm going to show how you can run Windows 11 in the low end device with 4GB of RAM. So nowadays 4GB of RAM Android device is very low end device. So in this video I'm going to show how you can run the Windows 11 in this Android. So still this Windows 11 very slow but uh, can boot in this Android. Let me just show you how you can do that. First of all you have to download and install Limbo PC emulator application the downloading in the description and make sure you are using the uh, Limbo 5.1.0 version downloading in the description and second thing you have to download the Windows 11 uh, super light file so this is the VSD file and it will be approx 7.31 GB basically this is the zip file in 2 GB after downloading you have to extract it and we get in the 7 GB so make sure you have lot of uh, storage in your Android phone so because of this Windows 11 the latest version that's why I've taken very long uh, storage it will be approx 7 GB now you have to open the limbo PC emulator so as you can see this is the limbo PC emulator you have to click on the none and I have already created the machine let me just show you all the settings of the limbo PC emulator you will understand so first of all you have to get into user interface you have to set the display uh, into SDL and you have to get into the CPU boards you have to select the architecture 64 machine type you have to select the PC CPU model you have to select the code studio as you can see like this CPU course you have to select the 6 RAM as much as possible you can select select the RAM uh, in the limbo PC emulator I have selected the 2040 so this is the maximum RAM of this limbo PC emulator and now you have to enable the MTTCG and you have to uncheck the disable TSC so this is the all the settings you have to do in the uh, CPU inboard now you have to get into the disk you have to select the uh, windows 11 super vsd file that um, i've already told you to download the downloading the description you have to select that file in the disk a in the disk and you have to get into the boot you have to select the boot from hard disk and graphics you have to select vmware as you can see this is the select graphics you have to select and the network is not working but uh, soon i'm going to make a video on how you can access internet in windows 11 soon video coming on my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video and as you can see in advance you have to click the high priority so this is the all the settings you have to do in your android phone now you have to just click to play button after clicking play button as you can see it will saying booting from hard disk so here it will going to take some time about 10 to 15 minutes or 20 minutes it's all depend on your smartphone specifications uh, so this is my android phone low end this android phone it will have 4 gb ram in this android phone and very less number of uh, cores so that that's why it will taking very long time to boot if you have a high end device you can uh, this windows can uh, boot very fast so as you can see in the screen the windows 11 uh, boot logo appear on the screen and after some time it will started booting so here I am going to fast forward this video because the, the booting process will taking will going to take a lot of time. So I am going to fast forward this video and come back after the Windows 11 fully boot in my Android.
So as you can see in the screen, the finally Windows 11 has been successfully booted in my Android phone. So this is my low-end smartphone and it's successfully booted and it will take in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to fully boot in my Android phone. And as you can see, this is the uh, desktop of the uh, Windows 11. And let me just tell you, this is the uh, Windows 11 Lite version, the desktop of the uh, Windows 11. And just now I've pr pressed the volume down button and it will going to uh, open the more option of the desktop so that I can refresh the desktop. So as you can see in the screen and it's still loading because of the low end device it's still loading and working very slow but it booted in my android the other version of the windows 11 or does not boot so this is the windows 11 this is the only windows 11 going to boot in the low end device with 4gb of ram so just now i've refreshed the desktop the internet is not working in this windows 11 and we also can't open any software in this windows 11 because this windows 11 is very slow working in my device so as you can see in the screen just now i have uh, pressed the start button and it will showing the more options so there are some basic windows preloaded softwares like uh, uh, task managers chrome on prop uh, notepad so this is the all the windows 11 uh, version software as you can see so this is the uh, start button of the windows 11 so just now i have turned on the screen rotation and turn my android phone as you can see this is the limbo pc emulator and this is the windows 11 so as you can see this is the fully working windows 11 in android this is a bit uh, slow and laggy but it's perfectly uh, booted in my low end android smartphone as you can see that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video. If you have any question or problem, let me know in the comments. Thank you.